What's going on you guys? Welcome back to King Japes and today we're in sunny Sacramento, California. I got this little guy right here with me. This is the Minolta XD11. I also have mounted on the top a 50mm 1.4. The film I'm going to be shooting today is this stuff right here. Portra 400 and I feel like I haven't shot this film in forever so let's go ahead and load it up and let's get some photos. So, a couple of things about the camera before we move on. The film advanced lever feels very two-step. It's almost like a two-step motion where it's ba ba instead of a full like a full just a fluid motion. It feels like a two. <laughs> it feels like a two-stop motion. So I don't know if that makes sense. And also the shutter speeds sound very soft. It says I'm shooting at one five hundredths of a second, but it sounds like one sixtieth of a second. So we'll see how the photos turn out. So far, it's a blast to shoot. Just a little weird coming from the Nikon F3. That's just, that's just my opinion. Okay, so the first step, what you want to do is press the button on the bottom. Yep, perfect. Now you pressed it, right? Now grab this lever. Now you see the arrow. Pull it up. You see the arrow? Go towards the arrow. Does that make sense? It looks like a Nike sign. There should feel resistance. Ooh, ooh, resist. Resist me. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Resist it. Just resist keep going. It. It's not going, dude. I'll just keep going. Oh shit. Close it. Resist. 
resisting. Resist me. It'll get really easy at one point, and that means you're done. Pull this out. Now be I want to pull it out. Go pull it. You already pulled it out. Okay, now open the back slowly. I'm gonna open it. Other side. I knew that. There you go. And pull the thumb out. Okay. Don't look out. at my stubs. All right, you guys. So we're back home now, and first and foremost. This camera was a blast to shoot. I'm gonna just say it straight up, right off the bat. Now, before we get into the experience about how I felt about shooting this guy, I'm gonna show you guys some of the features that this thing has. The camera features three different modes, manual, aperture priority, and shutter priority mode. It ranges from bulb all the way up to one one thousandth of a second. Now, there is an option on the XD11 that's not on a lot of Minolta cameras, but it's the little circle O option at the top here. And all that indicates is that it's a mechanical shutter release. So even if you run out of battery, you know, you can still shoot this thing. The lens mount on this guy is the Minolta MD slash MC mount. So all of the lenses you use for an X700, XGM, X570, all that stuff can fit on this guy too. So you're looking at really great glass, the Minolta Legacy glass, like the 51.4 or the 35.28. Absolutely beautiful lenses when mounted on systems like this. All right, so now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about shooting the camera and my experience with it. The first thing that I noticed was loading the film was easier than usual. I don't know what it is. I think it's the little notches inside of there. Minolta always does a great job with you know cutting those little notches so that when you wind the film forward initially, it catches right away. Now that brings me to my second point, the film advance lever. The film advance lever feels very two-step. I touched on it before earlier, but what I mean is, here, let me just show you guys real quick. So when I say it's very two-stepped, just, just listen, it goes one here, oh wait, it goes like this, it goes. So there's this little gap right here before it actually has resistance to push and turn. So it's not a smooth lever, I don't know if it's just my copy, but it's fairly easy. And I don't know if that's gonna bother some of you, but to me, coming from you know shooting the F3 a lot, it kind of bothered me. Though it's not a big issue, it's just something to look out for. Now, one thing that I don't like about the XD11 is the shutter release. When you're shooting it at a lower shutter speed, it sounds the exact same when you're shooting it at like 1 500th of a second to 1 1,000th of a second. It sounds like there's no difference, so it might confuse you in the head. You might be shooting 1 8th of a second, but realistically, it sounds the same as 1 1,000th of a second. If that's confusing, just listen. All right, so here's 1 500th of a second. Now I'm gonna turn it down all the way to 1 30th of a second. Here you go. It literally sounds the exact same. So I don't know if that's just my copy again, but it kind of bugged me at first, but I got used to it. It was whatever. Overall, I think this is a great option for people who want to shoot film or who are just getting into film. The XE11, among a bunch of film photographers back in the past, you know, rated this, this camera right here better than the X700, the 570, and that's basically because it doesn't have too many features that you don't need. It's a, it's a photographer's camera. It has aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual mode, and that's pretty much all you need when it comes to a film camera. It's super lightweight, and the leather on the front is super soft. It feels really good in the hands, and honestly, on the wrist, I could have this thing on all day long. It wouldn't bother me at all. So that's pretty much what I think about the XD11, you guys. Uh, if you haven't tried it out already, I definitely recommend you guys pick one up. You can have these for around 50 to 100 bucks on eBay. If you get lucky, you can find it used on Craigslist or whatever app you know you guys have around your area. But definitely, definitely, if you guys haven't already, check out the Minolta XD11. A great camera for the money. Also very lightweight, super compact, and just a blast to shoot. So thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been King Japes. Till next time. Yeah.